Hey, welcome back to Math Without Numbers. Let's talk about infinity. A big question I get about infinity, something a lot of people want to know is, is there anything bigger than infinity? That's actually not a dumb question. It's a really interesting question, and it has a straightforward yes or no answer. I'm going to tell you the answer by the end of this video, so stay tuned. But first, a riddle. Okay, so here's the setup. You are the desk clerk at a hotel, at a very fancy hotel called Hotel Infinity. And what's special about this hotel is that it has infinity rooms, infinitely many rooms. So one night, it's a busy night, and the entire hotel is full. Every single room has someone in it. So yes, in this scenario, there's infinity people too. Now here's the question. Someone walks into the lobby, a new guest, and they say, hey, I would like a room in Hotel Infinity. Is it possible to fit one new person into Hotel Infinity even if every room starts out full? The answer is yes, it is possible, and let me show you how. Here's the trick. You just tell everyone to move down one room. So the person in the first room, they have to pack up their bags and move down to the second room. The person in the second room moves down to the third room, and so on. And you'll see, it seems kind of weird that this works, but there's no like last room. There's no one who gets screwed over by this. Everyone is going to have a perfect place to stay. No one's going to get kicked out, and now we've freed up this one new room for our new guest. And the reason I like to talk about this riddle is it's kind of a nice informal proof that shows that infinity plus one is equal to infinity. If you have infinity plus one people and infinity rooms, you can still match them up perfectly. And so what that basically tells us is that infinity plus one is not bigger than infinity, which is pretty crazy when you just hear it like that, but it kind of makes sense if you think that infinity is just so big, it's such a gigantic, unthinkably large quantity that something like one does not even register in comparison. And of course, this is going to work whether it's one new person or five new people or even a billion new people. You can just tell everyone to move down that many rooms. It'll definitely be a hassle for them to walk that far down the hallway, but everyone still has a room to go to. There's no one left out in the cold. What about infinity plus infinity? That takes us to riddle number two. Same exact setup. The entire hotel is full. There's people in every room. And now all of a sudden, not one new person, but an entire infinite line of new people show up at the door and they all want a place to stay in your hotel. Is there a way to fit this new infinity of people or do you have to turn them away? Think about it. The answer is yes, you still can fit them and I'll show you one way to do it. So we're not gonna be able to use the exact same trick. We can't tell people to walk down infinity rooms. That doesn't work because where would even the first person go? So instead what you do, you have to be a little bit clever. You can space them out. You can say, will the first person please move to room two? Will the person in room two please move to room four? Room three please move to room six? And in general, will everyone move twice as far from the lobby as the room you started off in? And you see what this does is we've now spaced everyone out they all still have a room. Everyone here still has a room. No matter how far you go, they know exactly what room to go to. And now we've freed up infinitely many new empty rooms for our new guests to fill in. So this just goes to show infinity plus infinity still equals infinity. We still haven't found anything bigger. Now you might be ready to give up and just say infinity is the biggest thing ever. There can't possibly be anything bigger, but let's try one more riddle. This is going to be the infinity times infinity riddle. Same setup, whole hotel is full. Now all of a sudden, guess who shows up at the door? Not one person, not infinity people, but a bus pulls in. And this is an infinitely long bus with infinitely many people on it and they all need a room. And then a second bus pulls in, another infinitely long bus with infinitely many people and they all need a room. And a third bus and a fourth bus. And you look ahead and you see there's actually infinity buses, all infinitely long with infinitely many people who all need rooms. So you have infinity times infinity people. Can you possibly fit them in or are you gonna have to send some of them away? What do you think? Take some time to think about it. Okay, I'll just tell you the answer. You still can fit them all. Infinity times infinity still equals regular infinity. Let me show you why. I'm gonna draw them as just circles this time instead of people. I don't have time to draw that many stick figures. These are all the people who are already in your hotel. 
This is the first bus of people who are showing up for the hotel. This is the second bus and so on and so on. And you can even get this nice little diagonal dot, dot, dot over here. So what we're trying to do is basically arrange all of these people, this whole infinite grid into a straight line. They all need to fit in a regular one, two, three sort of room situation. How are we possibly going to do that? You can't say, okay, let's room these people first and these people next, because as soon as you hit a dot, 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 that's infinity people. You've already used up the entire hotel. We have to be a little bit more creative than that. There's a couple ways to do this, but this is my personal favorite. This is called the snake proof. At least I call it that. And basically what you do is you just draw this snaking path through the grid back and forth diagonally. And you see how this would go. If you keep doing this forever, you are going to hit every single object in this grid at some point. Whether you're the billionth person in the millionth bus, this line is going to hit you eventually. And this is basically just like your ticket number, your room number for the hotel. So you can take this curving line and just sort of stretch it out like that. And you can sort of see what's going to happen if you do that. So you'll get something kind of like this. And if you keep stretching it out, you have everyone in their rooms. So we see how that works. Every single person who needs a room eventually is going to find somewhere to stay. So once again, we have infinity times infinity equals infinity. So we're getting near the end of this video. It's time for me to tell you the answer to the question, is there anything bigger than infinity? The answer is yes, there is something bigger than infinity, but you're going to need to wait until my next video for me to tell you what it is. If you like learning this kind of stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the post notifications bell. Remember to pre-order my book, Math Without Numbers, coming January 5th, 2021. And if you like the stuff we talked about today specifically, here are some terms you can look up for some independent research. That's all for this week, and see you on Tuesday.